Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the 15th Word 2007 tutorial and today's topic is tracking changes within Word and also working uh, with comments in Word. So this can come in pretty handy when you're working on a one document among multiple people. So that way each person can edit, you can email it to people, put it on a server or wherever you want to put it and then each person can have their individual input and everyone can see what changes they've made or what suggestions they, they had. So to start off with I'm going to go ahead and just put some random text in the document here. So let's do this and use the, that function. Add some text. So the first thing that we do is we go into review and we go to tracking and we track changes. Okay so for example I'm going to delete I'm going to highlight this whole sentence right here. I'm going to hit the delete key. And you notice what happened. It just marked it out. Marked it out. And then uh, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to change. I'm going to delete this uppercase H. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a lowercase H for home tab. All right. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go here to quick style quick style and I am going to well, let me go back to the home tab let me make a formatting change there then you notice what happened it underlined it and it went over here and it put a um, like a pop-up and, and if you highlight over the pop-up it'll tell you who made the change and what the format change was you notice font bold here All right then I can go down here and I can uh, uh, let me put let me put the cursor right in front of this sentence and then what I want to do here I'm going to go to review and I'm going to add a comment and in my comment I'm going to say please or I could do this say Bob whoop, sorry. didn't do that Bob please review let's say I had it was forwarding this to someone named Bob and uh, I wanted them to review that line right there Please review, let me go in here, this line, all right, and you notice that again it pops it up over here and that way multiple people can add comments or, or whatever the case may be. So then, uh, let's see, let me, let me make this whole line here, let me make this line here, I tap, change the font, make it uh, italics, so where is that, right here, so there I changed it. And again, you see it tells you what, what you did. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and save that. And now there's several, there's a couple options here I want to share with you. So if you go into tracking, if for some reason you're not seeing the track changes, you can go over here to um, show markup and go down here and see what options are selected. So for example, if I uncheck comment, you notice that comment right there went away. I'm going to go back in there and I'm going to add comments back and there it is again right there. All right. So one other thing that you can, can uh, make it a little tricky sometimes is someone might not have all reviewers checked here. So make sure that's checked. And then the next thing I want to share with you is the balloons. So right now I've got it set up so that only the comments in formatting show up in a balloon over here but if you want to I can click over here and do show revisions in balloons and you see what will happen let me go up here so this is where we deleted a sentence right, and it will put it in a balloon pop up over here and again it will show you what's been deleted and then it just underlines that sentence Okay, so if you don't, it, it, it's all personal preference. So I'm going to go back here, and sorry, I'm going to go into balloons, and I'm going to change it back to show only comments and formatting in balloons. So this way it'll look like this. So it's all personal preference. Um, then what you can do is you can go in and you can view the document with those changes. So how you do that is you go in here and you say final, or you do this um pull down here and you have final show and markup, final, original show and markup, or original. So if we want to see what the final would look like with the edits in place, we just say final and there it is right there. You notice this is bold, that one sentence up here is gone. Um, keep in mind, this doesn't mean they're gone. If you forward this or you open it up again and you've got track changes showing, it will show all those edits in the document. 
So I'm going to go ahead and turn that back on. I'm going to go to Final Show and Markup. And now let's assume I forward it off and, and these are some of the edits coming back. And now what I need to do as the owner of the document is come in here and decide how I want, do I want to accept these changes, reject them, you know, add another comment, send it back out or whatever the case may be. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to click right here in front of this bold format here. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to, I'm going to reject that because I don't think, so I go up here, there's under changes, there's a reject button and it's, and then I'm going to say reject it. And you notice what happened, it took it off and it took that balloon pop up out of the mix. Okay, then I went to the next one and it took me down here and this is one I accidentally typed here. So I'm going to go ahead and reject this one also. Okay, so now it took me to the next one, all right, which is a comment. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and skip over that and click next change for now and show you how you can clean up comments at the very end of this. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and accept this. I'll say, all right, so I go accept and move to next, and then I'm gonna say search from beginning, and then I'm gonna go ahead and accept this and say we don't need that. All right, and here's another one, and then there's the home. Uh, let's see. So I'm gonna I'm gonna decline that, and decline that, and now we're left with the comment. So what you can do there is um, you can delete the comment like that by rejecting it, or let me go and add another comment. I'm just gonna call it test. And now in order to get rid of that. Another thing you can do is go into the um, under tracking and pull up a reviewing pane, and then it'll bring all these things up over here. And you, by the way, the you can you can bring that up in either vertical or horizontal. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Like this could have all the other from all the other changes in here too. But I'm going to highlight this, and I'm just going to right click it and say delete comment. Okay, so now I've got a document that is, I'm going to close this out, I've got a document that all the edits are cleaned up, it's ready to be printed, it's ready to be emailed, it's ready to be used and for whatever you're using it for. Uh, so that's really what I want to share with you today. Uh, hopefully that helps and I appreciate you joining and thanks and please subscribe. Take care.